Well, Pat, you guys had a handle on the first three quarters. Of course, the Knicks made it interesting there in the fourth. How were you able to keep your composure down the stretch? Uh, it's just about playing basketball, you know what I mean? That mental edge because uh, teams are going to make runs, and we know that. Obviously, we would have loved to keep that run at bay and have uh, kept the game up by 20, but I think it's good game pressure for us because we're going to be in a lot of tight ones. I feel like this Pat Connaughton post-game interview is a little overdue. You've been a major factor in the past three games. How have you approached your new role as starter? Uh, just doing my job. I mean, I think, um, you know, the guys have done a great job of helping me out over the last few years, like I said before, and it's a matter of taking advantage of my opportunity and making sure that uh, I make plays when uh, I'm called on to make plays. Tonight is your third highest scoring night as a Blazer. Where does this confidence come from offensively? Uh, just, you know, knowing that I've put the work in over the last few years, over the summer, and, uh, you know, knowing that my teammates uh, are looking for me to, to make plays. And, you know, not just to score, but to, you know, uh, on nights when it's called upon, make plays and get some assists and set them up for some easy shots. You just talked about making plays. I'm going to take you back to the end of the second quarter where you jumped out of the gym while flying backwards out of bounds to get the ball to Noah for the jumper. You always told me you have the biggest vertical. Were you just showing off? No, I was trying to, you know, be a trial for uh, Paul Allen and the Seahawks. You know, I can add a third one for the rest of them. Oh, yeah. How many sports can you play professionally? Let's see. You head home four and one. That was the goal. You said you really wanted to get greedy and head home with this win tonight. How does it feel to have a record like that on the road trip, which are not easy to play on the road? Uh, it feels great. I mean, you know, we put in a lot of work and we've lost some, you know, nail biting games. And to get, uh, you know, a few of those back, obviously, and learn from them to, you know, be on the winning end of a few of those nail biting games and, and to make sure that we push forward through this next home stretch. And we're looking forward to getting home in front of Rip City. Pat Connaughton, there's no sport he can't play. Nice job. Thanks, bro.